praise the Lord saying, so I'm so fired up by this word. Holy Spirit just came over me and I just typed it out real quick. And I'm like, I got to share this right now. Authority in Christ is rooted in knowing who he is and thereby who you are. It's about walking in faith, which we say much more often than we do. But by God's grace, he is stretching his hand forth over us that we would have more understanding about this authority. This authority needs to be loosed over every situation, circumstance, and corner of your life and of your mind. Nothing is bound in the presence of the authority of Christ. These life situations that are so uncomfortable that they've resulted in fear and worry and hopelessness, says the Holy Spirit. They are strongholds that are being exposed by the situation, strongholds in your mind. So it's not necessarily the situation or even those people that's the issue. You have so many questions and so much heaviness and discomfort in that situation because you're walking in the flesh. Walking in the flesh cannot be limited to walking in sin, but as you mature, it grows in definition to not walking in the spirit. This is good news because there's more. The Holy Spirit is saying you're not limited or stuck. There should never be eggshells under the feet of the Holy Spirit filled believer, especially when they are faced with those who persecute them or lie to them or make them uncomfortable, whatever it is. Look at these situations as assignments. Consider yourself Slow down and don't just feel your way through these discomforts, but rather check yourself and know that all the heaviness you're feeling, it must be dealt with by the Holy Spirit within you. Not just for your bettering, but for the bettering of those in the situation. Holy Spirit has an answer for you, even if it's not for others, for every situation. He knows best what to say to others in every situation. He knows best what move to make. But again, we must stop looking at this and the Lord is stretching his hand over you that you may. We must stop looking at him as external, but knowing he is internal. For example, you walk into a, a grocery store as a Holy Spirit filled believer, Holy Spirits that work and everyone in the market, every, everyone in the market. You need to understand what he's doing, but by simply being about your business, Holy Spirit is always moving in the physical or in the spiritual. He is bringing this all to our attention because these strongholds in the minds of believers that are subduing the Holy Spirit authority, these strongholds are falling. They're falling away. As you even become aware of these things, as you remember his authority within you, which isn't like a cop who bangs on a door, open up, but rather this authority, the authority in you encourages you to walk as royalty walks, never in worry, always as a representative of your king, always here to love and to help and to assist. You're in this world, but you're not of it. You are never to be bound by these simple situations, which are only complicated by a mind rooted in the flesh. Holy Spirit has an answer for that situation. And you needn't ask and wait. You have the Holy Spirit. Thereby, you have the mind of Christ. You need to just get out of your own mind. And by resting in the Lord, suddenly here are the words that other people need to hear, not just ourselves in order to force change. Many situations, again, these are assignments for you. And we feel bound because we're in our flesh. This is so uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. This is impossible. These people are, as you utilize the mind of Christ within you, now you know what to do and to say, the situation will change. They always do. Or suddenly, now I know what to do here. Now I understand more greatly because you're operating in the spirit there is nothing that cannot be transformed by Holy Spirit. No one in no situation. No one is immune to him. Whether they believe or not or are willing or not, if you're faced with those God doesn't want in your life as you walk in Holy Spirit, he will supernaturally sever those ties. You needn't wonder or wander or worry or fear any longer. Holy Spirit is within you and he will always do the heavy lifting. Never forget the power and freedom instilled in you by Holy Spirit. And he wants us, we must look at the Holy Spirit as a person. He's not an it. So many pray to God. I pray to God for this. And then I wait when you're waiting idly and in vain because these things you are called to do yourself or you're called to say yourself, but you're walking after your human understanding and not in the authority and the power instilled within you that the Lord has given you. 
Too many are looking and worried about situations that are actually assignments. The good news again is that today you can witness change. You have a new opportunity to walk in this authority and that authority goes with you forever, everywhere and always.